I raced through the dark, my heart thudding against my breastbone hard enough to jar me. Alarm bells ring in my head with all the force of a gong as the men behind me curse and bear snarls and growls. My stepmother sent them here. I know she did. She won't be satisfied until I'm dead. Anira, Anira, wait. I run faster, crashing through the brush. Limbs scrape my arms and vines tangle around my feet, threatening to trip me. I bite my tongue, trying not to sob in terror. I don't know who they are, but they didn't come out here with guns for a friendly chat. I may be young, but I wasn't born yesterday. You should have talked to the sheriff instead of hiding, foolish girl, a little voice snaps at me. Maybe you wouldn't be fleeing for your life now if you had. As much as I hate to admit it, the annoying little voice isn't wrong. I should have talked to Sheriff Armstrong when he was searching the woods for me today, but I didn't. I didn't want him taking me home. Home? Do I even have one of those anymore? I don't know. I doubt it. My father left the house to her and everything else to me. She hates me for it. If she could kill me herself, she would. I know because she's already tried. I trip, crashing to the hard ground with a muffled cry. I try to put my hands out to catch myself, but only manage to jab myself with a stick. The breath rushes from my lungs. I roll to my side, curling into a ball to make myself as small and invisible as possible. Hopefully, if I just stay still and quiet enough, they'll run right past me. And then I can circle back and get bare and dizzy and the rest of the crew and go somewhere. I don't know. Maybe the MC in town can help protect me. I've heard that they do that sometimes. Anira, please wait, one of the men shouts from behind me. His deep growling voice is oddly soothing. We're not here to hurt you. We're here to help you. Yeah, right. Help lead me right back home where I'll undoubtedly fall down the stairs to my untimely demise for real this time. I still remember the feel of my stepmother's hands on my back as she tried to shove me down them last time, and the hatred in her eyes. Somehow, I escaped. I don't think I'll be so lucky again.